it's time for a little bit of daily cribbage with Keith. Let's get going. Looks like we might be. Um, looks like we might be the dealer today. Very good. And we start off nice and strong with two, two, three. Let's pair that with a queen. And let's see where we can go. Six. Let's go up to sixteen, and let's see if they have triple six. They do have triple six. Okay. Did not expect that. Triple six, five, seven for the triple run for 15 points. Very strong. And we hit a run in the crib, so overall, not too bad. 510 Jack Queen for nine points. We got like that. And minor occasionally lead the 10 here. We can offload the jack, so we don't have to worry about uh, pairing our jack now. And did they trap the five? No. And the five trap was quite possible there, considering they played the seven and nine. We do have a lot of sixes to go with that. So we find ourselves very behind. And with a hand that doesn't have too much going on with it. We could throw away 6, 7 or 10 jack. I think that I like throwing away 10 jack. Hopefully gives us more playability and we could have hit things like 8s. Now how crazy do we want to go? I think the answer is we want to go as crazy as possible. We're very happy to um, get back lots of points here. Use our ace. This does, I guess, secure our opponent's position a little bit. They're now five ahead. But we do need to catch up at almost any cost. The computer likes keeping the 10 jack. It just doesn't have much playability. And here... We have seven points, so let's keep that. We just wanna just wanna catch up and we need to hope their opponent hasn't put a queen in the crib. Eight seven. So feels very bad to play a six. Feels too bad. Maybe I'm supposed to, but can't quite do it. What is that? 752 from our opponent. That's six points, nothing to nothing to sneeze at. And a lot of points in the crib. They they didn't put the queen in there, they put Jack 9 in instead to get the the double run. Oh these these hands are always interesting. Ace to four with two other cards. It's interesting because the computer will say something along the lines of throw ace king or ace nine away but and i'm gonna do that now because ace um throwing nine king away is a very bad discard we're gonna take the pair here and after they triple us we're gonna go to 15 with the nine they don't triple us which gives us a 15 and where do we want to go They've shown us ace to seven. What does that mean? Maybe some sixes? Maybe some threes? Hmm. It's not clear to me what that means. I guess we should have been worried about sixes because of the, the six that came on top. The computer here likes ace nine instead of Ace King. Also likes four nine and that of the other ones over Ace King. Sixty three eighty one. We're still really far behind. We need lots of points. We'll go nine king. 
and we'll play an eight. And we'll pair this five. And we get out of that doing quite well on the play. If our opponent gets very unlucky in the crib, then they're in a tough spot. Because 50% of the time, they don't get enough points here. So what do we want to do? We're going to just go to 20. Make like we have an ace, but actually we have a six. <laughs> okay, triple five king from our opponent. Pretty huge. 14 points. They do get one of the good hands. Takes them over 96. They're in a good position to go out in two turns. Now we want to do something ourselves that's, I guess, extremely safe. I see the way that... We win most of the time here is to um, that our opponent misses after two turns. But not when that happens, because now we have to dodge fives. Okay, six four. Six four two nine? No, they don't. Okay. Six, six, seven, four. They hit the two to get six points there. Nothing in the crib. This looks pretty much over. Opponent only needs seven points. We don't have anything to really stop that. If they don't get seven points here, how are we doing that? We're keeping some low cards. We keep some high cards. We throw away seven, eight. If our opponent has a pair of fours, that's already four points, so it's okay to give up. Uh, if our opponent has six points, we actually still are fine. So if our opponent has another ten here, there's a chance. There is a chance. <laughs> Could this be? Wow. What a game. <laughs> Very nice. Let's have a look at the, the details. We got a few more points on the play. We lost out points in the hand, but we got really big points in the crib. <laughs> 20 points in the crib at the end there. What a crazy game. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I will call it there and see you next time.